We Got This Africa is an April Communications production proudly brought to you by Frytol. Frytol, you deserve a life of goodness. Talking about fertility treatments can be very difficult and uncomfortable. If you want to know the success stories of partners who have successfully gone through the process, you might have to go online to read the stories of total strangers. One person who has been very vocal about her idea of treatment, how it was, how she felt, and the success of her treatment is celebrated actress Nana Ama McBrown. Today on We Got This Africa for the very first time, she tells us about her IVF treatment, the good, the bad, and uncomfortable moments on her journey. My name is Nana Shoko. You're welcome to our show. Nanama, yes, <laughs> when did you start trying for a child? <laughs> nah, thanks for having me. You but know, nice. yeah. On this journey, honestly, I decided not to talk about it again. I mean, I've been talking about it, but you see, it's something that exists. And most of the time, some women or our sisters or somebody needs to hear your story yeah. to keep her going. And I, I always want to tell my story the way it is. It's been long since I tried looking for, I mean, having a child. I was young and it was beautiful for me to have a child, see my child. My friends were having babies and I wanted to have mine, but <laughs> I'm, 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 I'm trying, but yet there's no results. So for a while, I let it go. I decided to concentrate on my job and let the, I mean, nature take its course by relaxing the body and hoping that I will see myself pregnant naturally. Um, it took me some time to come back um, to do some treatment or to start the treatment all over again. How many years did you try before you considered a treatment? I think I started. I mean, trying to have a baby has been from age 23 or 24. That's a very long time ago. Oh, yes. It's more than 15 years. It's actually more than 20 years. Oh. Like 20 years now, way before I started my career. Wow. Oh, yes. And uh, along the line, I had to let it go, like I said, and concentrate on my life and hope that I would find myself pregnant naturally. But you see, it gets more serious when you're growing. It gets more sad when you're go growing. And when time is going, you ask yourself many questions. <laughs> I would say when I met my husband, I became serious again because I realized that I have to settle. And one of the things that I was hoping for is to have a family. I, I, I started a treatment again mainly about eight years ago. Eight years ago. Magazine is two and a half, yeah. almost three. But the last eight years has been more intense. That's why I started seeing the doctors. And then they will tell you, we need to wash your system. We need to clean the womb. What does washing your womb mean? I, the term... I've forgotten. I mean, after having magazine, I decided yes, to, let's to go, close go. that chapter with the doctors. I'm done with you. But what's the procedure and like? The procedure is so intense that they insert some liquid into your womb, your tubes, to clear any blockage. Yeah, and <laughs> it's very painful. It's painful? Very painful. Mine was painful. The many times I did it was painful. 
How many times did you do it? I think I did about six times. Yes. And the six times I'd, I'd done some before from 2010 coming. Yes. 28 and um, um, 6, 206 coming. I did about two and I had to relax. From 2010, I did one. 2012, I did about two. But when I met my husband, I did two more. And it became like six for me. But I realized that that is not working for me. The, 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 the blockage, I had no tube blockage, but they couldn't know why I was not getting pregnant. However, when I started the IVF about four years ago or five years ago, because with the IVF, it took me about eight months before I got pregnant. And that is because I had fibroid. They had to take the fibroid off and I had to stay home for about three months or four before they started the main IVF procedure. My own, I'm saying it for the first time, was that my tubes, one of them was damaged. I'm sorry. Yes, and they had to take it off. I shouldn't have said this, but you see now, a lot of women are going through this. Mine, I have my results, I have magazine, and no matter what I went through, I have gotten what I wanted. I have a baby now and my story has changed. But if you are in the process now, everybody's own is different. From the beginning, I thought my womb is clear, my tubes are okay, but in the process, they realized that they had to take one off. It's totally damaged. That if they keep it, it might damage the yeah. whole procedure or it might not make it work. It's a whole lot of things, the emotional stress. Yeah. Now, people need to hear this so that they know that they are not alone in, in search of a, a baby. Mm -hmm. After taking one tube out, the other one is basically not functioning. And the only option for me was IVF. And that's where I had to take the fibroids off because they will tell you that it's a very long procedure. It takes too much energy. It's expensive. Yeah. And at the end of the day, it may not be able to even, it may not work. So in all this, you, you, you hope and pray that the money, the time, the energy, everything the that comes, stress. you must have a good result. And only God can give you that good result. Yeah. You see, <laughs> after taking the fiber off, that's why I started the procedure mainly. And now, if you have to take injection for days at the same time, take your medications at the same time, you can't do anything. Your mind, your, your, your energy, everything is to, towards the procedure. What's the procedure like? What exactly happens? The procedure is they will, hmm, the doctors definitely, they would have to run tests on you, a thorough one, to know how your system is positioned. And again, it is not just about you, the woman. They need your husband as well to be part of the procedure. However, the main instrument or the main body or the system they need is you, the woman. Now, first of all, after running the test, they are going to see if your, your, your womb or you have your ovaries are active and if it's not sometimes depending on your age they would have to increase your medication or you would have the to hormones. be taking more yeah yeah medication to to develop more hormones and 
that takes time. Is it very expensive to do an IVF treatment in Ghana? No, very yes. A very, very big yes. And that's what scares people mostly. Yeah. They say, hmm, minisca, no. And it's true. I, it depends on your, you, the person, your, your, the procedure, your system. However, I'm going to give a very raw figure because I personally had, I had some privileges, privileges. So some of the things I didn't pay, I mean, some things were given to me, medication, I'm in the hospital and all that. But I know it's between... Four thousand dollars to eight thousand dollars in okay. between. Yeah, I mean converting to Ghana cities, it's above thirty thousand Ghana, mostly upwards. For the procedure alone. For the procedure alone, sometimes you buy your medication aside, separately. separately. Sometimes you go to the hospital overnight, and all that, all that are paid separately. separately. And that's why I'm saying it's different. Yeah. But I, my first one, <laughs> you see, the, the, the sad part is this now. As for the procedure, the doctors are there to take you through. Oh. And when you are ready, you are ready. It doesn't matter how long or what it takes. But this is it now. If you are ready to spend, if you are ready to, to, for this, and at the end of the day, it doesn't work for you. Yeah. Ina, you want to die. Mine, my first one didn't work for me. And if I, if, I, if I tell you what I went through the night when I realized that it was right. negative, I couldn't sleep for about a week. Because aside the money, I was asking myself, how long? I know someone who has done it seven times. Wow. Yes. And the eighth one gave her twins. But can you wait? No? Nah? Can you wait? Or in waiting, the things that you're going to go through, it is not easy. Mainly, that is why I want to share with my, my people. Now, nah? that part is mainly what I want to, I mean, be talking about. You may have the money, you may have all the support from your husband, from the family, yeah. but if at the end of the day you have a negative result, you break down totally. You break down totally. You, you think that your world has come to an end and everything is falling down for you because you feel that that is the, the last option, the only alternative, the only hope you have. The night before, because when you, after everything, the procedure is done, you'll be told to have a very quiet time with your own self. And within that time, you'll be, I know you'll be talking to yourself, praying, hoping that you have a very positive result. Yeah. But, and you'll be given a period of time. I was given two weeks. After two weeks, I should come for it, a pregnancy test. So I was counting the day yeah. by the second, by the every minute. Oh, <laughs> yeah, that been a 24 hours person. Oh, two hours, three hours. That's how it started for me. And gradually it became daily today. And then the last day to my 14 days, I was just hoping and praying that I'll have a very good result. result. So in the morning, I went to buy a pregnancy test myself. I sent for it. I said, let me try before I get to the hospital. Early morning, 5 a.m., my first urine, because I didn't want to urinate, and then later, I said, I said, so mm -hmm. uh -huh. So my first urine, I tried. And for the first time, now I'm in No abortion. No miscarriage, nothing. So I'm not so much used to this pregnancy testing. And I had to read the menu to know that it would take two lines, red lines. For so after doing it, I was just hoping to see the two lines. Yeah. 
so that I know that this is all I've been working out, I've been waiting for. So when I tried, it was just going, going, going. And for five minutes, it gave me only one line. And for a minute, I didn't want to go to the hospital again. I tried again, I bought double, so I tried again and gave me the same results. So I knew the results before I got to the hospital. And when I went there and they were telling me, I was like, I knew it, but I had to come. It was not an easy moment now. And I didn't know what to tell my husband. <clears throat> to call him and say, baby, I knew you. Because he goes to work very early in the morning. And I, I could only let the doctors call him to tell him that um, we have another chance. Because I, I had um, kind of eggs. I have some eggs with them. I still have the, the eggs. That if I want to have, more, have children. more children, I can go back to the hospital. Because they freeze it for some years. So they came out and said, Nana, all those are no. All hope is not gone. Take it that. This is your bathroom. You've not cleaned it for years. And always there's water flowing and you don't clean it. So it's slippery. So now that we hope that God will make a change. I bet you know some they, they, they use their terms and you know how they are ready to help you. Yeah. But they can't do anything beyond the results than to start all over again. Do they offer counseling at that point? Because yes. it's the hospital did that for me. They did that for me. Actually, the owner is more than a counselor. And I have a very good rapport, so they did that for me. And she was calling, she was there, and all that. You need somebody at that moment. My husband did that for me. My mom did that for me. Few friends, they did that. So the only option again was to go back and start all, and over, start again. all over again. Wow. That sounds like a lot. I know people who have tried once and they tell me that the emotional trauma is not even about the money or the time, but then the emotional trauma that they had to go through during the process and even more when they are told that it failed. That's the most difficult aspect for them. So a friend of mine, you know, did, went through the treatment once and she says that she doesn't want to do it again. She can afford it. She's not too old. She's in her 30s. But she doesn't want to go through that depression that that negative test brought her. Yeah. She doesn't need it. I, I, I wouldn't mind doing it all over again because at least I'm not too desperate right now because yeah. I already have my A team. beautiful daughter. Yes. Yeah. I wouldn't mind doing it again. However, what she's saying is, is, is the truth. Now, it's not about the money, it's not about the time, but it's about you. Mm -hmm. You want it again, and it's a natural feeling. There's a natural feeling that will, will, will always be awakened in your, in your spirit, yeah. hoping to have the result, a positive one. However, it's a good feeling to when at the end of the day you are being told that it is positive. And I want to hear that story. I want to hear the story of your second try and how our beautiful daughter came along. You're watching We Got This Africa. We'll be right back. We got this. You're welcome back. You're watching We Got This Africa, and today we are hearing the amazing story about Nana Mama Brown's IVF journey. You're welcome if you have just joined us. Now, 
tell us about your second treatment. How did you decide to do it? Was it right there and then did you have to go and come back? Honestly, I decided to do it right then and then because the time was that moment. And you see, na, my uncle told me that Ujai de Oya, Ubenya Bibiaye, what he meant was that my work can wait. Everything I'm doing can wait. And if I, God willing, I get my baby, I can go back to them all over again. But pregnancy cannot wait. At a certain age, mm -hmm. you can't tell yourself that you are waiting again. So at that moment, all I could do was, Doctor, I've waited for about eight, six months. If you say the next month, it's just a month or two away. Let's go ahead. And that's what kept me going. I'm sure if I had waited for long, probably it would have broken me more than yeah. it did. So I, I didn't want to wait. And it was very easy than the previous one because I already had some eggs. They didn't have to have it. They the didn't have to go through. I didn't have to go through all the procedure again. However, the latter part of the procedure is what, I mean, gets you pregnant. You know, they will need you and your husband together, some spams, how they, that's the easiest term for it. And then you will start and wait all over again for another two weeks before you get to know your results. So in waiting to in that time, the procedure was not the same, but it was even more than the previous one. As in it was easier or more difficult? The, the procedure was easier. But after the procedure in the waiting, you don't want to have a negative result again. Yeah. So before I go back and say, ah, okay, me yeah, then me sorry. Was I jumping or was I walking so I was I hard on myself? Now it's very easy. You realize that you don't even want to brush your teeth. You don't want to walk. Me, I didn't want to walk because so that they'll tell me, Uko or do you understand what I mean? So I had to relax more. No phone calls, less activities. Even my husband, I was trying to tell him to go to a different room. I don't want you to be pushing me on the bed. I, I was just at one place in my house, my living room. In the morning when I come and I relax like this, it's only maybe I had to go and wee-wee or to the washroom or something. If not, I was so particular every second. And this time, after the two weeks, I didn't do it at home. I prayed, I was praying, I was crying on God now. Every moment I was crying to God, don't disappoint me, God. Now, you see, when we are saying it like this, people might think we're actresses, so we, are, we just have a script or something. It was an easy thing, and we are just exaggerating. No. Now, now, could you visa cry out Can you cry? If you want a visa, Oh, nah. really and then nah, it's easy now, maybe for us, but before, oh, nah. not to talk of, I mean, this oh, important results that you hope to have. But thank God that when I went to the hospital, in the morning I was so down, I was so confused. However, I was hoping not to have that same result. Yeah. Yet, I was, I, was, I was just denying my thought. I w it was a confusing moment for me going to the hospital. When I went in there, the nurse, the main nurse was like, ah, Nana, why? She looks sad already. I said, oh, it's okay. She said, no, 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 you don't have to look like that. Let's go. And when I went there, they tried I had to go to the lab and see if I'm in waiting. I was just hopeless. Did you go alone? Ah, yes. I went alone because I just felt like I'm in it alone. My husband would say whatever, but he, he to con, con, I mean, conf, console you, console me or comfort, comfort me you. and all that. But you know, he already had two kids, so mainly, mostly I just feel like he doesn't understand how I feel. Sometimes that's how we feel. 
yeah. that they don't, you don't understand mm -hmm. the way I feel. Nobody will understand. Yes. It. However, he's showing all the, I mean, the care and all that about the so on. But I wasn't, I wasn't seeing it. I was, I was, it was about me at that moment. But thank God that when the results came and the doctor was like, oh, it's a very, hmm. When he said a hmm for a minute, I thought, you know, the movie kind of scene. Yeah. Where they were like, hmm, we hope that the future or do something. So I was just hoping that it won't be the same result, God. And he was like, I'm a less than God. You are pregnant. When he said you're pregnant, I was still thinking I was shooting my scene. You're pregnant. So I was going to, like, I'm sure he was hoping that I was going to go, oh my God. <gasps> For a minute, I was doubting the positive news. For a minute now. What was I mean? My try check. And not an enemy train, but every time has been negative, negative, negative. So for a minute, I thought he's, he was lying. Yeah. And Dr. Ellis, he was like, oh, Nana, you are not happy. I said, Doctor, are you sure? Because me, coming from home, I, I, even though the result, this is what I want, but I said, me, me, na. My story changed from that day. The only, the only thing that came to my mind when I came was, Rade, I don't want you to change my story and say after three months, there's a miscarriage. After six months or after seven months, or even after nine months, I gave birth and what? My baby, I lost. So I laid every option on the table for God. Say, God, help me. And every day it was about just God. God, my medication is God, my medication is God. Now, nah? until about a week, because it was within my period of time, I was scared. Say, ask anybody who has been through this procedure and who has been told that you're pregnant. You don't want to, when you're going to wee wee, before you wee wee, you check, I mean, you check your destiny that there's no dot, no spot of every moment until nine months, it's like you are communicating with yourself. And it was not easy. The experience was not easy. Pregnancy is a beautiful experience. Did you have a good pregnancy? I did. I did. My own was so smooth. Okay. Ah, every day I was looking at my stomach and saying, when is it going to come up? Uh. When is it? <laughs> it was so smooth. There was no reaction, nothing. I was not vomiting. I was sleeping. I was eating. Everything. I was only not having sex. I stopped having sex. I stopped eating. I went back. I, I started Googling. This, things, you can eat. things you can eat, things not to eat, things what, I mean, how to sleep, how to walk. <laughs> <laughs> how to walk. <laughs> nah, what to eat, what times, exactly what. I've, right then it was not about myself again. It was about the baby. Okay, if you want your baby to be healthy, what do you eat from the beginning of the pregnancy? How many hours should you sleep? Um, water, what, I mean, the, uh, uh, every, now, I mean, it was a beautiful experience. I downloaded an app, and it was telling me, your baby is like a lemon. Yeah. And <laughs> it's a one week, and two weeks, your baby is like yeah. an orange. Yeah. Every day, I wanted to know how my baby looks like. <laughs> how did you tell your husband? My husband, honestly. <laughs> Honestly, he was ready for any news. Yeah. He, 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 he saw um, me going through all the procedure and he saw the anxiety. He saw that I'm also hoping for good news. Mm. However, he was ready for any news because he, 
he can't, he can't be broken down like I was, you know, so he should be the one to support me. However, he was hoping that I get pregnant because when him say no one over to me, I am mommy. <laughs> now, nah, what yeah, is here? Yeah. When him say I dare back on your mommy and any beji, I bear me fear. Say, when you buy, it's not about car, it's not about the BFA, no, but when you mean, or boy, me no, me no, but no, be a when him say. I will appreciate that alone for very long. And it's true. I do appreciate him pa, 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 for magazine. Pa. But at the hospital, I called him. I said, babe, I said, yes. I said, my mommy soon. I said, oh, no, I'm not going to cry. The doctor says I'm pregnant. I said, oh, boy. <laughs> he said, like, oh, boy. I said, oh. But because he thought, say, Maybe I'm a can a year or not so be or they're disappointed or something. So I'll, maybe I have for I have already encouraged myself and I'm trying to be yeah. nice or however. And it was like, oh boy, I said no, me boy, I am. So I I, I, I snapped the result I said and I sent it to him. And I was like, hey Yama. He sent me hey Yama and then he called back. <laughs> hey Yama, I was like, when he called back, hey Yama, in two way. I was in a hospital. I was in a coffee. And then he closed early and then he came. When he came, he was just smiling. It's like he wouldn't trim, he wouldn't You can see it, you see? Yeah. And he was, wow, mama. Okay, then don't do anything. No. Don't do this, don't do that. No, I said, me, when I'm back. I'm not going anywhere. <laughs> and then I told him, babe, I can't have sex for. But for some time, well, uh, but we are not having, you know, it's been like that now. Nah? In the process, one of the things that um, the people don't know is that your husband is like 40% of the process and you are the vessel, so 60% of it. Whatever comes out of their words to you should be more encouraging. Positive. Should be positive. Their words alone. That's all mostly after the procedure, if you think that you've done what you, you need to do alone or you've done, that's not the only thing we need from them. When I look at the way the procedure and how my husband helped me through, I realize that he's been really, really part of it. Yeah. Yes. What, what do you say to women who are afraid of the procedure? Um, I told you a friend of mine did it once and she said she should not do it again. I'm sure if she got the encouragement to do it, she probably would because I know how much she wants a child. But then she doesn't want to try it again because she feels like it broke her. Oh, the, the one she did was not... It was negative. She didn't oh. get pregnant. So she says she won't do it again mm. because it broke her too much. She said she had never been in a place of... She had never been so depressed. It's true. You become so depressed that you feel that you don't... You, you, you don't need to survive the life you're living as in. You don't need to live. No. I wish I can speak to her to go back because the end result is worth the procedure and worth waiting, worth whatever injection, whatever you have to, you have to go through. To be honest, now, we, the hospital needs... Oh, I mean, the, the, any centre needs a, a counsellor. Yeah. That, that, because they, they are there to support you. They are there to help you. However, the procedure is not 100% assured. You only hope for it. But if it doesn't work like it didn't work for me the first time, you need somebody to talk to. You need a counsellor. You need your husband. You need your family. You need friends. And generally, this education must go far so that women who are ready or who are scared to go for the procedure will, will, will wake up and go for it. Because if it becomes the only option for you, you shouldn't tell yourself that you are scared. At what point would you know that, okay, this is the only option for me? Especially at my point, when your tubes are, 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 are damaged, Na na uko kuma se akra ro nam ayi insa wamukwa no emu achimi no na ka bia block no 
Now. Where will you go? Before you go past Asinfosu through Obuasi back to Kumasi, it will take an extra three to four hours. It will take more time. And the point is, if you get to the point where your tubes are damaged, you can't tell me or you can't tell yourself that you are afraid. Unless there is no support, like financially, or maybe a husband. However, now people do it without husbands now. Yeah. Because having a child, it is for you, the woman. Right now, if Maxwell say I won't pay magazine school fees again, no parent will say I, will, I, I won't feed my child. If the husband say they won't take care of the kids again, the women, no matter what, they will struggle and, I mean, take care of their kids. So what I mean is having a child is not having it for the husband. As the Rebecca said, oh, 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 Nah, the joy, the joy. I was coming with Magzino. <laughs> I was expecting her. <laughs> oh, you did, I didn't know you want to see her. I was coming with her because now she knows me so well that when I wear a wig, she knows I'm going out. <laughs> okay. A wig with makeup or a little hill, mommy is going out. <laughs> I drove her halfway and they went back home. I had to buy some food on the road, something for everyone. You see, it is, it is, it is the, the, the motherhood uh, journey for you. It is not for the man. However, it is my prayer that any woman will not get to my point, will not get to whereby your, your tubes are damaged, whereby you, the only option for you will be IVF because it is expensive, yeah. time consuming, and at the end of the day, if it doesn't work, the depression that comes with it. I pray and hope that everybody who has started or who even planned going for this will have a very positive result at the first attempt. And mm. the, the whole country was so happy for you when the news first broke that you were pregnant. At that time, we hadn't even heard that the baby had come. But, you know, I had met you once at Lucky's Restaurant. Yeah. We were both pregnant. Yes. We came for a meeting. Yes, yes. So yes. I knew. Do you know that <laughs> that picture was trended so much, people didn't know that I was pregnant. Yes. Yes. I was in a jeans yes, top, I jeans remember. down, I Yvonne Okoro, Lydia Jackie, Yvonne Nelson. Yeah. You yeah. at Lucky's yeah, place. Yeah. So I was four months pregnant. Yes. Yeah. Yes. I think I was also about four months pregnant. Yes. So we were around the same yes. time. So, yes. so I knew. Mm. But the day that I saw it online, oh God. I'd given birth, I think, two weeks before. Before you put out the pictures. Yes. I was so happy. Everybody was so happy. And I think I, had I given birth, I was about to. I don't remember. How old is the baby? But two. Two. Yes. He's going to be three is two in April. and eight months. Two, two years and eight. Yeah, I think yeah. about saying he'll be two in April. He'll be three in April. Okay, my son is in February. Okay. We'll be three in February. Okay. So yeah. I hadn't given birth yet. Mm. But I was, gosh, the whole country was so happy for you. Wow. The love, the support, the I, joy. I saw it on social media. I mean, there was no way you could go onto any platform on social media for that whole month nah. without seeing that somebody was celebrating I with you. I saw it on social media and I was alone in my house in Canada. And I was standing at the window, I mean, watching videos on social media. And then I would turn and look at magazine. <laughs> I said, hey, everybody wants to see you. <laughs> and then I go back and that was a beautiful moment. Yeah. Every day with my daughter is all I wanted. Every day with magazine is a dream come true. Every day, I mean, I'm fulfilled. Yes. I'm fulfilled. I'm I think I'm blessed. You are. God has been so good to me now. I have basically everything a woman needs. Everything. I have a career. I have a home. I have a family. I have a husband. And the most, the, 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 the alternative, I mean, the most priceless gift ever. 
I have a baby, I have a daughter. <laughs> and it's amazing. It's amazing. It's amazing. I like it's the way beautiful. you light up when you talk about it. Eesh. Like you just light up. <laughs> and amazing. and that's that's the feeling that is difficult to sometimes explain. The feeling of having a child that you have waited for. Mm. It's, nah. just, it's difficult My to explain. Everything. <laughs> everything i wish you had come oh. on that very happy note stay tuned we'll be right back Welcome back. This is the part where we are all smiles and excited. We are talking to Nana Baba Brown today and she has shared a beautiful story of how her baby arrived. For women out there who are trying for a baby, um, we are aware of all the options available. But most people want to try the natural way for as long as possible and it's not coming. What advice would you give them? Hmm, nah. You see? Most of the women trying to have it naturally, it is an option. And the only thing I can say is, if you keep trying naturally and it's not coming, the only option is to see a medical person. And then they'll tell you the options available. Yeah. However, some are expensive. And I mean, most of them are all expensive. Oh, I mean, all of them are expensive. Because... Even going for consultation alone, and it's not a one-day journey. I will only tell every woman out there to go out to seek for medical attention yeah. if it's not coming. How about those in waiting? In waiting, some people are still have been trying medically. Yeah. However, like I said, the only option is IVF, and is the most expensive option yeah if the energy or financially you can't do that we can only hope and pray now because if you are in the process doing or I, I I have women calling saying now I am, I've, I've seen this doctor, this hospital for these years. Nothing is wrong with my system. Nothing is wrong with my husband. Yet, there is no result. <laughs> In this situation, we can only pray for them. We can only pray, Nana, and hope that God will answer them. But if you have to go through the, the IVF procedure, in all things, you have to pray. In all, so it is my wish for every woman that God will bless you with 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 a baby, and if it's twins, there, not just a abroso. So I will pray, and every day I remember, I mean, such people in my prayers. I have a platform that we pray for women who are in waiting. It is called Goshen. We pray for people because I would say here, yeah, one of the leaders are also trying for years. So we've really dedicated that platform for women in waiting to have babies. So in our prayers, it's, it's, it's part of it. And we hope that God will answer every woman because that is, that, 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 that is what makes you, I mean, the woman you, you want to be. Yeah. Now, having your own, I think it's different from, it, it is, I, I shouldn't say much. So I hope that every woman will have um, a natural pregnancy, as in have your own, get pregnant. You see, in all that, you praise God. When I saw that my, I'm changing, my body is changing, Every day when I see a change, I say, oh, I didn't mean that was. Thank you, God. 
my last, my latter day two weeks to, I mean, magazine, I mean, coming was when I realized Seminar Asia Pija. That's the only thing and I started vomiting. The latter part of two weeks to deliveries when, you see, but every moment, every change was like a praise. Yeah. Everything was like a praise. How so, did you feel when she came out and you had her in your arms? Nah. It was like, it was like a, it's a movie, it's like by the fireside. I thought they were playing, I thought they, but you see, God is good. The baby will come out and, 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 and naturally something dawns on you. You realize that something has changed about any, everything about you. But it is here. It changes in the mind. Your perception. Ah. Everyone should have a baby now. You have to. I do. Hmm. It's like, it's okay for me. Me, we said the main canon now. The feeling, you can't describe the feeling. Yeah. I can only describe the, the, the environment. But the feeling, I can't. I can describe when the doctors brought her and she was, ah, and, but how I felt within, I don't have words for it. Mm. <laughs> well, congratulations to you. Mm. And I can not tell you, you know how happy we have all been for you. Mm, I know. And I'm so happy that your story has encouraged so many women I have done this show for not too long, but I've heard a lot of women talk about their fertility journey and they refer to you. Mm. And the support, that, the encouragement, the belief, the, the hope that they have now because you have spoken about your journey. It's not something that people do. Now, do you know that people come on my comments page and say, oh, are you the only one who has suffered really? in getting pregnant? Are you the really? stop talking about it? So, and I go like, then stop talking about God. <laughs> if you don't want to talk about it to encourage other women, don't go to church. Don't be good. People come under my comment. You talk about it too much. Are you the only one? I say, okay. You don't know how it feels. You You've never been there. I mean, people, mm. uh, you know, people who do that, sometimes I just, just pray for them. Because yeah, the, I, I, <laughs> I won't stop talking about it exactly. because of such people. Exactly. My anytime I open my mouth, when people meet me, their stories, Nana, you've encouraged us. Yes. You've given us hope. Yes. In waiting, yes. anytime I see your picture, I have, I have hope that very soon I will be like Nana. My Nana, story you will know, change. We are not very comfortable about talking about alternative ways of getting pregnant. Yes, I know. It's not something we are comfortable doing. No. And so even women who want to do it don't have anyone they can talk to about their experiences. And so they're also afraid to try. All you hear are rumors and stories from, you know, elsewhere. Yeah. Movies and, you know, blogs from mm -hmm. elsewhere. But in Ghana, it's not something we are very comfortable with. And so recently, you won't hear about an IVF treatment outside the hospital. If you go to your doctor, he'll tell you. But our friends are doing it, and you know, you find out later that, oh, this person did an IVF treatment to have their yes. child. And while it's private, and we understand that it's private, you want to keep it private, talking about it will heal and give more hope to more yes. women than oh, you yes. can ever imagine. I, I think in the process, it is better to keep it quiet. It's just like you praying yes. to God yeah. in your quiet time. Yeah. So the process is a very quiet time. Yeah. It should be a quiet time for it's you. Delicate. However, when the baby comes, when the baby comes, <laughs> the baby is here. You have to tell the goodness of the Lord. Yes. Let people know that because it's not all about the money you have. Mm -hmm. Now, I'll be crisp. I had the money, but it was not happening for me. And I, 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 will, I had people talking to me, and the words like I'm doing right now, kept me going. So I am going to talk about my experience just to encourage another yeah. woman to let them know that all is not lost. Yeah. Magazine is here, but I was waiting. I've been I, for magazine is here, wow. Me na na bina, but what show me him? Magazine has been here for years. 
And when she came, she's behaving like she's five now. Okay. Oh, yes. She's behaving like she's an old woman Is now. Is she taking your phone and seizing it on YouTube and watching Coco Melon? Oh, even time? this morning she did that. <laughs> she, she doesn't want her tablet. She wants my exactly. phone. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. They and don't want their playthings. It's a beautiful <laughs> moment right now for me. So I pray that God will answer every woman yeah. and give that joy moment to every woman out there. Amen. Mm. Thank you so much for coming and for sharing. You're welcome. God now. bless you and bless this beautiful story Amen. and i pray that i would continue to encourage women in ghana and all over the world to know that all hope is never lost thank you for having me my pleasure it's been a real pleasure i hope that this oh, boom <laughs> i hope this conversation has brought you hope if you're looking to have your own child. It can be a very difficult, long, stressful, depressing time while you wait. Yeah. But because God is alive and because none shall be barren and because all things end well and all things work together for good for them who trust the Lord. If you are trusting him for a child, don't be afraid to try, to try all the various options there are. Yes, it's nice to have your baby the natural way, but it's also great to have your baby eventually. And so don't be afraid to try. Don't be afraid to try. And as you try, have hope in knowing that it will end well for you. My name is Na Shoko. I've been hanging out with the Empress, hey, Nanama hey, McBrown today. Tell my name. Oh. Empress is Empress and everybody is Empress. Okay. So now I'm Her Excellency. Her Excellency. Mm -hmm. I like it. I hope <laughs> IGP don't arrest me. <laughs> no. Hey. Mami no musi asa. I say well. Her Excellency. And we tap into that. In the next eight years, you have a form. And I am a form. In for form. <laughs> I've been hanging out with Her Excellency, Nanama Mac Brown. Thank you for watching the show. We Got This Africa is an April Communications production proudly brought to you by Frytol. Frytol, you deserve a life of goodness.